Praise be to Allah, Lord of the worlds, and peace and blessing be upon his last messenger, Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wasallam, his companions, and those who follow the right path. Dear viewers, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Peace be upon you and the mercy of Allah and his grace. Welcome again to Understanding Islam Ramadan. Dear beloved viewers, Psalm in Ramadan is obligatory and it is one of the five pillars of Islam. Allah Almighty says, the month of Ramadan in which was revealed the Quran, a guidance for mankind and clear proofs of the guidance and the criterion of right and wrong. And whosoever of you is present, let him fast the month. And whosoever of you is sick or on a journey, let him fast the same number of other days. Allah desires for you ease. He desires not hardship for you. He desires that you should complete the period and that you should magnify Allah for having guided you and that peradventure you may be thankful. Surat al-Baqarah 2 verse 185. From this verse, we understand that it is obligatory to fast the month of Ramadan. Psalm is a religious obligation upon each adult, sane, and healthy Muslim who is able to fast and void of any preventive reason. It is an act of sincere worship, practicing obedience and submission to Allah and His commands. Psalm or fasting means worshiping Allah Almighty by abstaining from violators. The duration of fasting is from Fajr or through Dan about one and a half hour before sunrise and continue his fasting till the end of the day at sunset. A person intending to fast must make the niyyah or intention to fast from the night before the start of the actual fast. This must be repeated each night. The Messenger وسلم, said, whoever has not given intent to fast the night before the day he want to fast, his fast is not accepted. You can also give the intention from the beginning of Ramadan to fast the whole month. There are many violators for Psalm that we must avoid. The most obvious uh, among them are the three primal needs eating, drinking, and intimate relationship. If a person does any of that intentionally, his psalm is invalidated, but he must continue and finish the day and repent to Allah Almighty and ask for forgiveness, then make up for it after Ramadan. If the violator was the intimate relationship while fasting, he must also give penance, which includes fasting two consecutive months and if he couldn't, then he must feed 60 needy persons. Taking blood transfusions or nourishing injections also breaks the fast. There are, on the other hand, many things that do not invalidate the psalm, such as medical injections that are not nourishing, giving blood samples for medical tests and reasons, brushing your teeth, taking a bath, using eye drops and ear drops, as well as asthma spray. It is also allowed to apply kohul, uh, eyeliners, henna, skin creams, and ointments. Dear viewers, it's time now for a quick break, but stay with us. We welcome Ramadan and all its blessing and benefits. Welcome back to Understanding Islam Ramadan. We have been going over the basics of Psalm or fasting and its important rules and regulations. Dear viewers, Ramadan is not meant to be a hard or difficult time, but was prescribed for our own good, as Allah Almighty said. And we have seen in the ayah or verse before, Allah wants to make things easy for us, does not desire to put us in hardship or difficulties. 
That is why we find many groups of people exempted from fasting when there is hardship or difficulty for them. So is not obligatory upon children until they become adults by reaching puberty or the age of 15. However, it is advisable to train them before this age. We will dedicate an episode to children in Ramadan in the future, inshallah. Psalm is not obligatory upon those who are not able to fast for a permanent reason, such as all people and those who are chronically ill with no hope of cure. They do not fast, and instead they must feed a needy person one full meal for each one day of fasting. Psalm is also not obligatory upon patients if fasting harm them. They start fasting when they become better and they make up for the missed days after Ramadan. Pregnant women and nursing mothers are also exempted from fasting if it is difficult for them. They are also exempted if they fear for themselves and or for their babies. They can start fasting when there is no fear or harm and they make up for the missed days after Ramadan. If a person, any person, finds great difficulty while fasting or feel, or feel real harm for himself, he is also allowed to break the fast. If the harm is certain, then it is not allowed for him to fast even if he wants to. Also exempted from psalm is any person who is, uh, who is compelled to break the fast, such as breaking the fast to save a person from drowning or from fire, etc., it is allowed to break the fast and make up for it later on. Also, a traveling person is allowed to break the fast and make up for it later on. While women in menstruation or postpartum periods, they must not fast, but make up for the missed days later on after Ramadan. For all other adults and sane Muslims who are able to fast, it is obligatory to fast. Any Muslim who does not fast without a genuine excuse is a sinner and transgressor, and he must repent to Allah Almighty and make up for the missed fasting days. Dear viewers, there are many wisdoms and benefits for psalm and fasting. Besides all the rewards and religious benefits, psalm or fasting acts as a practical reminder of the plight and difficulties suffered by the poor and needy. It is intended to make us reach out to others, so we must learn uh, the practical aspect of compassion and generosity. Ramadan is the month of spending for good causes, the month of help and support for the poor and needy, the month of mercy and compassion, the month of giving and generosity. We need to learn this from Ramadan and act upon it. Psalm is also intended to promote self-development. It helps make us better, teach us self-control, self-discipline, and self-restraint. It also teaches us to be patient and tolerant. And it also increases our willpower. And in addition to its spiritual and moral significance, Psalm also has physical and health benefits. It is well known to purify the body from toxins that accumulate in the body. Allah Almighty spoke the truth when he said, and to fast is better for you if you only know. Surah Al-Baqarah 2, verse 184. Dear viewers, this is all the time we have for this episode, but we will have more in the coming episodes, inshallah. We supplicate to Allah Almighty to help us learn about our religious duty and help us observe them and grant us success in this great month and make us good for ourselves and everyone around us. Amin. See you tomorrow, inshallah. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Peace be upon you and the mercy of Allah and His grace.